go with three options. We could sit around trying to not touch our own faces. That's harder than you think. You could tell me I need a haircut. That's kind of obvious. Or we could do four steps to smoother vocal effects. Hey, I'm Steve in the Mix, and I'm a multi-platinum producer and mixer, and today we're gonna do four steps to smoother vocal effects. I've even got a fifth one that's a bit of a ninja move. It's easy, you can do this. And if you're an artist, producer, or creative engineer, and you're putting stuff out there, I've got nothing but respect for you. So this is a song from The Living. I showed you last time how I did the EQ and compression on this vocal. Let's get set up first. So we're gonna go to the sends. If you click on the track, and you have your track over here, you have to have the eye thing selected. A different versions of Logic show this in different ways, but you get the idea. On bus one, we're gonna put aux one. It will auto-create that for you. I've already been through this, so I have them already. We're gonna make four of them. Two. Three. Four. And then whichever one you touch in the middle here, that'll go to that bus. So this is bus one. So on the first one, go to modulation. Chorus. And we're going to use these plugins with presets or as they come up to make it as simple as possible. Of course you can tweak, but let's get you started. So we're not going to change that. On number two, we're going to do reverb, space designer. Don't pull up anything yet. Number three, we're going to pull up the stereo delay. We're going to keep it really simple. Touch four, we get bus four, and we're going to do another reverb, space designer. The first thing we're gonna do is create a little bit of spread and a little bit of thickening, and we're gonna use chorus to do that. So let me put both headphones on so I can hear it, and I would suggest you do headphones here too. The name of the game here is subtlety. So here is the vocal, and I'm gonna start turning it on. We've been traveling through the ages, we've been growing in different stages. So that's too much. But somehow, we can't seem to meet up. So we want to dial it back so we can just hear it or where you can hear it and you pull it back just a little bit. So as I put it in and out, you should hear a little bit of spread and a little bit of thickening. The name of the game again, subtlety. We've been traveling through the ages, we've been growing in different stages. So we don't want the listener to feel like, oh, there's chorus on it. We just want to thicken it up. Let's go to the next one. Space designer, open that up, go to small spaces, Go to plate reverbs. I personally don't like rooms on vocals. Of course you can use a room if you want to. Go to micro plate. And we're gonna do the same sort of thing here. We're gonna turn this up till we can hear it. And all we're looking for is a little bit of space and then we're gonna dial it back. Again, thickening agent. We've been traveling through the ages. We've been growing in different stages. But somehow, we can't... Little sense of space. Maybe that's a little bit much, but I want you to hear it. Again, subtlety is the thing. Let's go to the third one. Touch that, and we get the delay. Open that up. We do have to change a couple parameters here. So the left and the right. Change this to 500. Change this to 5,000. It's just a nice, easy round number. Of course, you might want to change that but it's easy to remember. And what this does is it cuts off the bottom and the top so that you only get the middle. It'll make the mix a little clearer. The next thing we're gonna do, in this case, I'm gonna use eighth notes. Eighth notes or quarter notes tend to work well for this idea. Of course, you could do anything, but choose it based on how it feels in the track. The little bit of delay will move the track along. On slower tempos, the quarter note might feel a little too slow, and it depends on the syncopation of the melody. The other thing we're going to do is change the feedback to 10. What that does is it makes less, less repeats. So I don't want it to go repeat, 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 repeat. I just want it to go repeat, repeat, repeat pretty quick. Then we can have a little bit louder, then it disappears. So let's start turning that up. We've been traveling through the ages, we've been growing in different stages. But somehow. We can't seem to meet up. Okay, that's cool. Now we're going to add four, another space designer, and what we're going to do here is add the reverb that you sense the tail of a little bit more. We're going to go to small spaces again, plate reverbs, and we're going to do vocal plate. This is great sound. I like this sound a lot. 
We're going to start turning this up until we get the sense of a bigger space. We've been traveling through the ages, we've been growing in different stages. Taking it off. But somehow. Put it in the dawn. We can't seem to meet up. Okay, it's starting to get really smooth now. This is the fifth move. I didn't really mention this exactly earlier, but this is the ninja move. This is something that engineers do a lot that you wouldn't really know listening to a record. So go to your delay, hit three, and then you get your delay channel. Create a send here that goes to four, which is the longer reverb. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna send the delay to the longer reverb so there's reverb on the delay. So let's start throwing that on. We've been traveling through the ages, we've been growing in different stages. But somehow, we can't seem to meet up. And if it's a bit too much, we can always turn it down here. We've been traveling through the ages, we've been growing in different stages. But somehow, we can't seem to meet up. Okay, if you got that move, sending the delay to the reverb, just hit me with a comment, two words, got it. So there you go, chorus, reverb, delay, reverb. You send the delay into the reverb, you've got a really smooth sound. A lot of engineers build stuff this way. Of course, there's way more stuff that you can do, but this is a great starting point to get you to that more sounds like a record kind of a vibe. The mistake that people make is they put way too much reverb and way too much delay, and it kind of vibes like karaoke. If you really, really listen to a record, I mean, really dive in, you can do this, check it out. The effects tend to be a little bit more invisible. I want to leave you today with a shout out if you're looking for effects for tracks. There's a really big YouTuber. He's got a really great vibe. He's really positive and he talks about mental health. And if you know me, you know I work with Rob Nash. It's a subject that's near and dear to me. His name is Curtis King. I will put a link to a video that he did a little while ago about doing really cool effects on certain elements in your track. I think it's worth watching. And I think it's really cool if you get information from different sources so that you gather all this stuff and make it your own. And if you thought this was kind of cool, it would be awesome of you to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so we can keep the conversation going. <laughs>